This Mallards Wildcats matchup features a lot. You've got power hitters all over the board, young talent waiting on their big moment, and a couple of managers that go way back. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Meadows. I'm Kyle Schultz alongside TC3, ready to give you a matchup of two squads that are two and one. And yes, that's right, I will be facing my partner in crime, Tommy Coughlin, for the first time since 2021. Yeah, let's remind you of the glory days of MLW. This is where our roots lie, folks. Old Coughlin versus Schultz matchup. We go way back, this league goes way back, and this matchup shows that today. And my squad, I'm excited. We have our full six-man roster here today being Coughlin, Robles, Colm, Irwin, Davenport, and Carlington. And we're a dedicated and cohesive bunch, and I think that showed in our opening day 2-1 series victory. Although I would love to see more consistent offensive production today throughout the series. And we were also pretty satisfied with our first showing. Uh, obviously winning two out of three against the Cobras. And today, not only do we have uh, Ty Smith back, but also Liam Jackson. So we have our full squad of five today. Um, I'm also very excited to see Pearson retake the mound in game two. He had a good start, and then control became an issue. We put Sailor in there, where uh, things got a little out of hand. But I'm very excited for all five of us to get the uh, chemistry going once again at the Meadows, and hopefully get another series win. Um, but looking at this matchup all time, it's a very interesting one. Out of 16 total matchups, my Wildcats have nine total wins, while your Mallards have seven, Tommy. And then the last six, you have the advantage four versus two. But my favorite stat in this all-time series history is that both of our teams have 56 runs scored. Dead tie, not to mention all of the home runs hitting the series too. And folks, one final reminder, next week is our Detroit series between the D-backs and the Eagles. On Monday, June 5th, we'll be at the Corner Ballpark starting at 7 p.m. for games one and two. And on Friday, June 9th, the series finale will be at Comerica Park starting at 10 a.m. Both events are open for public admission and we hope to see a ton of you guys out there. And we will now go down to the field with Daniel Schultz. We'll take it from here. Daniel. All right, thanks, Kyle. Got my boy Nick Saylor with me here today, going against a big name in Jordan Robles. How do the Wildcats get it done today? Hey, you know, Jordan's one of the more premier players in the sport, just nationwide and in this league. So I think we just got to stay simple and just stick to our stick to our plan, really, and execute. I mean, he's going to come at us with a bunch of different stuff, and we got to be ready for it. But we got to stay simple against him. All right, Caden, you pitched well in that first series against the Eagles. How do you keep it going today? Just keep pounding strikes. Try to make sure that I'm throwing good pitches around the zone, not right down the middle, and make them put it in play. Sounds good. Game one. Here we go. All right, folks. Old school matchup here today. Wildcats Mallards. First AP is a walk. Man out first. Kyle got to settle in here. Just inside. Ball four. Mallard's getting something going here. Good pitch. Dirty screwball. Kyle Schultz bounces back. One out. Ground ball left side. Sailor cannot come down with it. We'll eat it at third base. And the Mallards have bases loaded, one out here for none other than Jordan Robles, top of the order. Full count, bases loaded. Ground ball. It gets past Pearson. Two runs score. Two nothing Mallards. Good piece of hitting there from Robles. And the Mallards take an early lead. Swing and a miss. Good riser there from Schultz, two down. Good pitch. The Mallards do get two, however. Kyle Schultz will have to settle in at the mound. A weird spinner. Robles gets it, pegs him, what a play. Very nice play there, one down. Sailor up at the two spot. Ground ball, Robles again, two down. Great fielding here in the first inning by the Mallards. Full count pitch, swing and a miss. Clean inning from Robles. Throwing plenty of strikes here. Now going to the top of the second, the Mallards looking to add on here.
Swing and a miss. Way to bounce back. One down. Oh yeah. That a boy, Kyle. Two down. Fly ball, deep center field. Sailor under it. Comes down with it. A nice one, two, three inning there from Schultz. We're going to the bottom of the second. Oh, strike three. Yep, one down. Oh, left field. Off the wall, base hit for Kyle Schultz. He's stretching it to two, nobody's there. A double for Kyle. Aggressive base running here. Love to see it. Good pitch, swing and a miss. Two down. Got him. Robles looking dominant today. Wildcats running out of time here, still two nothing. Good pitch, dirty drop. One down. Oh, it. Carrying oh, fly ball, Sailor. He got it. What a play! What a play by number nine, Nick Sailor. Oh my goodness! That ball kept carrying. <laughs> His hat goes over the wall, but the ball does not. What a play! Robles fighting here with two strikes. Strike three. Wildcats hold the deficit at two after our miraculous play by Nick Saylor. Last chance here in the bottom of the third. Now ball, Robles. Clean play, one out. First pitch, deja vu. Got him at first. Robles has been great fielding off the mound today. They need one more to take home the victory. Cats need a runner here. Line drive off the wall, right field. That's how you get it going. Ground fall. No throw. Base hit for Pearson. He looked at second, decided not to do anything, and the Wildcats have some momentum here. Ground ball! It's through Irwin! Sailor's coming home! Dead ball at home. Two to one game. Huge hit for the Wildcats. Let's go, man! Come on! Wow! Here we go. go. Ground ball, left side. Preston, he misses the peg. He missed the peg is the call on the field. Come on, man. Kyle go. Schultz ties it up. Let's go. Come on, Kyle, come on. Let's go. What a hit. Go. Let's go. Huge two out rally here. Can they finish it off? Go. Ground ball off the middle! What a goal for Nick Sailor! Oh my goodness! Wow! They're celebrating in left field. Come on! After a crazy comeback, two out rally. Wow! The Wildcats win it three to two. Big one for Cats.
Caden Irwin getting the start after a solid opening day series. Line drive, barely fair. Face it for Kyle, does not stretch this one as the Mallards wisely cover second base. Strike three on Sailor. Ground ball, Caden. Nice play, Kyle. Aggressive, oh, oh! <laughs> Almost got him at second base. Two down. Liam Jackson getting his debut with the Wildcats. Fly ball, right field! It's past Robles, Kyle coming home! Safe at home! Liam! In his first AP, gets an RBI base hit. Strike three. Wildcats get one though on an RBI base knock from Liam Jackson. Great to see Pearson getting the nod in game two. Lead off walk for Robles. Best ball, ground ball. Schultz safe at second base. The call on the field is safe. We'll go under a booth review. After further review, the call on the field is overturned. He's out. Sailor, man, you barely kept your foot on. Ball four, first and second. Let's go three. Matt Carlington with his first start of the season, batting in the four spot. Oh, a little change up. Good pitch from Pearson, two down. Inside, what an at bat by Robles to get it bases loaded. We are gonna make that today's MLW pitch by pitch. What a lengthy at bat from Jordan Robles. Base is loaded for Tom. Fly ball, left field, Kyle under it. And Pearson gets out of a jam. Tommy just got under that one. Good pitch, tipped into the zone, strike three. Line drive, oh what a play! Hold the phone, folks. That was actually 73 <laughs> miles per hour. So Jackson Pearson will get a walk. The Wildcats ultimately accept the penalty. Line drive, left field. LJ is eating today. Wow. Two hits on the day for number 15. Ground ball. Tommy cannot make the play. Safe at third base, we got bases loaded. Oh, he fished for it. Two down. Inside hits him. Ball four and that will score a run. Wildcats tack on, two nothing. Quick pitch, nice job. Now let's have some work to do. That's four straight, man out first. 
Good pitch, strike three. Took some off at 63 miles per hour. Good leave. First and second now for the Mallards. Ground ball past Kyle. Caden's coming home. Fakes the throw. At a boy, Tom. Big hit for the veteran. Good pitch. Pearson bounces back, two down. Center field! Sailor with a nice play. Carlington almost had his first career home run, but a great play in the field for the Cats. And now it is time for today's BL 101 trivia question of the day. Name the two people in this series who are teachers. The correct answer is Hayden Irwin and Jordan Robles. Love to see it. Nice riser. A warning, but that is strike three. Line drive gets past Tom. Hard hit ball there from Sailor. Ground ball, Tommy. Got the out at second base. Smart play there. We got two down. Ground ball. Pearson's going three. And he's gonna stay there. Another hit for LJ. Third on the day. LJ, come on! Tommy cannot make the play, he throws home! He got him, what a play! The Mallards get out of the jam, keep the score at two to one, and are looking to tie it up or win it in the bottom of the third. Boy. All right, leadoff man is on. Winning run at the plate. Big first out, strike three. Took some off at 64. Got him. Add a boy Pearson. Two down. He's humming now. And it's all up to number three, Matt Carlington. In his first career start. Ground ball, Pearson gonna take it himself. And they take the series. Great pitching performance from Jackson Pearson. LJ at the plate. And the Wildcats improved to four and one while the Mallards dropped to two and three. Get out of Absolutely crushing. Lead off home run for Jordan Robles. A bomb. Mallards desperately needed that one. One nothing, Mallards. Full count on Tom. Line drive. Base hit for number 32. Hey, good hand. Hey, baby. Mallards are hitting. Ground ball, right side, fair ball. Cannot make the play. Tommy all the way to third. Three straight hits for the Mallards. Swing and a miss. One down. And an intentional walk here. Makes sense. Bases are loaded. For Tommy Coughlin. Swing and a miss, and Kyle Schultz wins the battle. We're gonna do another MLW pitch by pitch. Tom fouled off numerous pitches 
and almost hit a home run to right. Battle to a full count, but Kyle wins it in the end. Just look at this folks, pitch after pitch, an absolute battle. Two down, bases loaded for Caden Irwin. Ground ball, Sailor cannot make the play. Two nothing Mallards. Big piece of hitting there from Irwin. Ground ball again, Sailor. Too hesitant, he is safe at home plate. Kind of took his time, looked at first base and Robles with speed. Makes it three nothing. Ball four outside. Strike three. Kyle battles, gets the final out, but the Mallards tack on and score four total in the inning. Solid there from the Mallards. Full count. Inside, Schultz battles and gets the walk. Oh my goodness! Dead center, Nick Saylor goes yard. Absolute shot, no doubt it. Four to two, as Kyle Schultz says, it's a long game. It's not over yet. Ball four. Outside, another walk, first and second. Got him, good pitch, took a little off. Big first out. Got him, nice pitch in the dirt. Robles fighting, two outs. Left it, lost him. Base is juice for Ty Smith. Got him. And Robles. Keeps the lead at two, huge. Outside, ball four. First and second. All right folks, we have a Pat Lee Cards pitching change. Jackson Pearson in for Kyle Schultz. Ground ball off the middle. Nice play by Pearson, one down. We'll move up the runners, the second and third. Good pitch, three straight strikes on Tom. A quick two outs. Wow, this would be absolutely huge for the Wildcats to get out of this jam. Got him, Pearson shuts the door. We still got a ball game, folks. Left center. Gone for number 28, Kyle Schultz. Chipping away, four to three ball game. A no doubter again. Thanks everybody. Sailor battling. Change of speeds there, nice pitch. And that's a base on balls for Pearson. Got a nice pitch in the dirt. Two down. Ground ball left side. No play, base hit. That a boy, Kyle. Fly ball. And a nice catch by Caden Irwin. But the catch tack on one. It is now four to three Mallards. And that will do it also for Jackson Pearson's mic'd up. Let's go check it out on the field. 
Hey, yeah, we were going up the dirt road on the way here. Me and Nick were talking about it before. We both listen to the same song every single time we're here. Plug walk. Oh, wow. I have not seen that many times. Matt Carlington, become great friends with this guy the past couple years. Not meeting. You take it. You want me? Yeah, I got, I got, I got. Roll this up. All right, I got. Right. You want to keep the mic on. Yeah, we got to okay. All right. <laughs> How do I get deep mic out of this thing? <sighs> Had to pick up Kyle there. Finally found a little rhythm there on the mount. I'll give you a shout out, Matt. I'll give you a little hey, shout out. Let's go. Let's this is go. my dog right here. Hey, we're enemies right now, but I love this guy. And a boy! I stopped talking there because I had a feeling. 4-3. We are not done. We are not done. Let's go. Nick's a competitor. Whole team is full of competitors. And I could not ask for anything more. I think this series really proves that our squad can compete with anybody. That's bad timing. I think it's kind of funny how everybody here has pretty like a pretty outgoing personality. Everybody comes to the field, everybody's friends. When we get here though, everybody's dialed in. Alright, it was a good time fellas. Ground ball, left side. Kyle with a nice play. Oh my goodness. One down. Strike three. Got him. One, two, three. Pearson has been filthy today. Showing great command on the mound all day. Lead off hitter, Jackson Pearson. Oh my goodness! Come on, baby! Wow! High ball game. Four to four. First pitch. An absolute bomb. He's been dominant today from both sides. Wow. Ground ball, has problems with it, gets him at first. Nice play, nice recovery by Caden Irwin. The winning run moves to first base. One down for Saylor. Fly ball, makes the play, double play. Kyle, I'm not sure he knew the situation, but the damage is done. It will go to extras, four to four ball game. We got a good one here, folks. Ball four, and we have a Patley Cards pinch hitter, Preston Colm into the ball game. What a pitch, one down. Just inside, first and second, one out. Battle here, crucial spot. Strike three in the dirt, two down. Walked him, and a speed warning. Four straight, bases loaded for the rookie, Preston Cole. Huge spot here. Yes he did, yes he did. Got him, strike three. He attempted at the ball. Nice pitch by Pearson, that sidearm sinker. Newly found pitch. Did not go, ball four. Swung under it, strike three. Full count. And Caden wins the battle, nice pitch. Oh, and it's gone! A line drive home run for Nick Saylor. Off the handle, it just kept going. 
and the Wildcats win six to four and sweep. Get the brooms out, folks. Holy cow, did not see this one coming at all. <laughs> and the Wildcats are jumping at home plate. Jackson Pearson looking great on the mound. The Wildcats improved to five and one. All right, folks, got the Cats here today after a sweep. Did not see that one coming. Pearson, BL 101 player of the day. What was going through your mind today, being so dominant on both sides of the plate? I was honestly just trying to execute. Me and the boys, we had a game plan coming in here, and we just kept talking about it. Every time, we're just talking about keeping a level head, our breathing techniques. That All the little things is what we want to do to win these games. These, this felt like a playoff series today, and I'm just so proud of the boys. You're looking great. And Kyle, the Wildcats are sitting at 5-1 and one at the top of the AL. How are you feeling? Sounds good. It feels good. But at the same time, I know we can play a lot better. There was so much room for improvement today. I made an incredibly dumb base running error. was inaccurate on the mound. I have a lot of work to do to improve. But once again, this guy picking me up. I'm, just, I'm so proud of Jackson. He, I, I said it last video too, but he's really been working in the offseason and, and throughout this um, spring period to, to, to get to the point where he is today. So I'm very happy for Jackson. And how about, you know, Ty and Liam and Sailor just doing their thing as well. It's such a, such a team win once again. Yeah, you guys are looking smooth on both sides. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe in that corner, last video in that corner. Comerica, the Eagles are playing soon, June 5th, June 9th. I'm looking forward to it. We'll see you guys later.